It is Saturday, 6th of April, 10 in the morning. Let's see how much I wait four weeks in the life. Oh yeah. And like I told you, I will wait under 100 kilograms. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, the weight is going down. What's up? Welcome to this video. Four weeks in this diet and I'm under the 100 kilograms. Oh yeah. Freaking stoked because the weight is going down and today I will make some changes to my diet. But first here's my physique update. My titties were high here. Let's do this. Side. <sighs> Obliques. The waist. Oh, almost there. The back. Relaxed pose. Some poses. Here we go. Front double biceps. Vacuum. Oh yeah, let's prep. Here we go, the size is for sure there. But I'm still like really fluffy. The veins not really showing, you can see on my belly. I would say I hold fat everywhere, but mostly on my belly and my ass, like I said. But I am slowly losing it. Here we go, fat update, getting thinner and thinner. I can see and notice that and feel it mostly. So this is my back now. And you will see in like two, three weeks. Yes, the size is now there, but you don't see really definition, you don't see holes. But that will change when I get deeper in the cup. Of course, the love handles, here we go. Still, guys, I have a lot of work to do. Last shot, my legs. So, quick update, here we go. Legs, not sure if they will get lean. Yeah, just updating you anyway. So, quick update on my physique, and you already know how I'm gonna start my day. Here we go. I've got my coffee, big glass of apple cider vinegar with some water. Let's first chug this. Now, let's go upstairs and enjoy this coffee. Here we go. Always gotta start my day with a delicious coffee. So today, I will change up my macros, change up the diet a little bit. Yes, I am under the 100 kilograms, but I do want to change it up. I'm already four weeks in this diet, and I've been on the same calories, same macros since the beginning, 2700 calories. So today, I will change it up. And I'm gonna change it up by changing all my macros. So first off, I'm gonna have 65 grams of fat. Then I'm gonna drop my carbs from 300 to 250 and I'm gonna increase my protein from 220 to 230 that all equals to 2500 calories I've noticed that at the end of the day I need to fill up like 10 to 15 grams of fat and when I have fats at night with like quark or something I just can't sleep and I just feel really bad when I have too much fats later on the night yes I could have more fat during the day but I also noticed that my protein is really high at the end of the night so I would rather lower my fats a little bit and just allow myself to have a little bit more protein because protein to me is a little bit more enjoyable than fats I would rather have like 100 grams more of quark than like 10 grams or 5 grams of peanut butter and I'm dropping my carbs because I always drop my carbs when I play around with my calories so when I drop 50 grams of carbs I basically drop 200 calories and that is always what I've been doing I can either drop my calories by 200 or add 20 minutes of cardio which is also 200 calories but for now I'm not doing cardio I'm just gonna drop my calories until I really can't anymore and one big thing I need to say is that I did start work I am working full-time again and I said in like two videos ago I'm doing cardio but at that point, I didn't work. I've been working now for two weeks. And guys, I walk a lot on my work. So I'm just going to cut out the cardio because I'm more active right now. Yeah, my act activity... My activity is higher, so I'm burning more calories, so I don't really need to do cardio. So I'm gonna drop my calories. I'm working, so I'm kind of doing cardio. I'm more active, and that is my... Get, get. And that is my game plan for now. So I'm enjoying my coffee. 
It is 10.45 now. I'm gonna finish this in 50 minutes and make my breakfast. It's getting pretty late. It is 11.30. I'm gonna have the same breakfast as always, but this time I'm gonna change it up. So instead of making omelets and an oatmeal bowl, I'm gonna make delicious pancakes. Separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. Last egg, so I've got four egg whites, two whole eggs. I'm gonna add 50 grams of oatmeal, a small banana in total weighs 70 grams, and I'm gonna leave a little bit behind so the rest goes in. And I'm gonna have 10 grams, 11 grams of cocoa powder. Just blend it up. Nothing to it, spray some pan spray. And make some pancakes. Not the best looking pancake, but it will do its job. And I kinda need a sauce with the pancakes, so I'm gonna add 10 grams of whey protein. Add just a little bit of water, and mix the protein in with the water till you get a paste like this. So I've got my small stack of pancakes, and now I'm just gonna let this drip all over it. And just spread it around a bit over the first pancake, let it drip of course. This already looks so delicious, but I've got my leftover banana, and I'm just gonna slice. How to make your pancakes look better? Just be creative. There we go, chocolate protein banana pancakes. Oh yeah. Here we go, a small stack of Protein banana pancake. So at the end I added like 10 grams of protein sludge just to have a sauce so it can get get down easier. And I'm just gonna try one for you all. Here are the calories and macros for these pancakes are on the screen. Got some banana, some sludge, pancake. Mmm. They are kind of thin, but the flavor is amazing, especially with the cocoa powder. Around 550 calories. Simple but good. Here we go, I just have a little bit left and I left over the top part of the pancake with the sludge and the two pieces of banana. I always leave the best tasting part for the end. Mm. Mm -mm. First meal is gone in like four minutes exactly. And I must say, this was satisfying. After like four weeks of dieting, having no sugars, no cheat meals, no refeeds, that felt pretty satisfying, to be honest. Now I'm gonna have my supplements, two fish oil, one milli vitamin. There we go. Five grams of creatine. As always. And now, guys, I kind of crave a monster. Here we go. And I kind of spilled everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just gonna sit here, watch some YouTube, and enjoy my weekend. This is exactly what I love to do. Just enjoy the weekend, sit, relax, do nothing. That's a whole week of working. It is getting somewhat later and I kind of want to show you what I do with my chicken. So from this point I just talked way too much so let me quickly explain what I talked about. I just said that I don't like these kind of pieces on the chicken and that I always cut it off. Because you can see right now it's like more fat and like chewy pieces of the chicken that I really don't like. So I just cut it off, all the chicken, I just cleaned everything off, all the excess fat and I just threw it away in the trash. Now let's continue with seasoning the chicken. On the aluminium foil, so got all the chicken here. I'm just gonna put a thin layer of all the seasoning. So that was pepper, garlic, paprika and a bit of sea salt. Then I'm just gonna turn it around and just repeat it. Garlic, paprika, sea salt. Take my chicken and I'm just gonna bake it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. So as you saw, I didn't add any oil to my chicken and this is how you keep your chicken healthy or lower calorie. And I will make a simple chicken sandwich.
The chicken is pretty much done and it looks and smells delicious. So this is what I'm gonna have as my pre-workout meal. Different meal ideas. But this I bought in Germany and this is my favorite bread. It's like pretty heavy but also like so tasty and it's like whole wheat bread. Low fat cream cheese, low fat normal cheese, a mustard, ketchup, lettuce and of course my chicken. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this in half. This one as well. Add 25 grams of this cream cheese to one side and add 25 grams to the other side. Add some pieces of lettuce, like so. Some mustard, ketchup on the other one, some mayo, and as last, my chicken. 150 grams of cooked chicken, just top it off. So simple, two chicken sandwiches. So this is my pre-workout meal guys, look how delicious this is. It is now 2.30, here are the calories and macros for these two sandwiches. Basically two slices of toast with two chicken breasts, some lettuce, some low fat cheese and some condiments. I gotta give you a bite, here we go, cream cheese chicken sandwich. Mm. Mm -mm. Today is gonna be a relaxed full day of eating. It's getting pretty late, it's almost 7 o'clock at night. I went to the gym, did a light leg workout, just some pump, chasing the pump, did some abs and a bit of bicep. Before I show you my post-workout meal, something, <laughs> something really bad happened. So I got my meal already laid out right here. Before I show you that, you can already see it. Guys, I've got a portable cooking plate because be prepared what happened when I was at the gym. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, our brand new kitchen, not even a month old, something fell on this cooking plate. This is really bad. It's not working, it's broken, as you can see, we can't use it. Luckily, we have a replacement, a portable cooking plate, but this. I was in shock when I saw it. I think no one got hurt like I said. This is objective. <laughs> this really sucks. I can't cook now. Only on that freaking thing. But luckily I already made something this morning. Some rice. And because this is broken, I'm gonna change the whole meal up. I'm gonna keep it simple. I will have some rice. I will bake or yeah, bake some brown beans. Have some canned mushrooms just to finish these cans. Because we have like six of them. I'm gonna have some broccoli and my baked chicken. I will have a glass of coke. Let's enjoy a delicious meal. To be honest, this works pretty fine. So I've got the broccoli boiling right here, got the mushrooms with the brown beans, and this thing is pretty handy, I must say. I'm just gonna throw everything on a pile and enjoy it. To show you the time, it is now 7.15. The rice underneath, I'm not sure if I can show you it. So I've got the rice underneath, I did add some ketchup and mustard, added some low fat cheese as well in the middle. Brown beans, mushrooms, chicken, this guys is delicious. Oh, and I needed some fat so I added some peanut butter. Guys, chicken and peanut butter. Mm-mm, here we go. Mmm, that combo. Mmm, mm-mm. Here are the calories and macros for this meal. I wanted to make something else but I will keep it for the next time, if we get one for the next time. The rice, beans, some fiber, good carb source. So I'm pretty happy with this meal. Delicious, nutritious, and will get me some gains for day. So it's pretty late, I will finish this, have some snacks, and finish the day. Choo! Oh yeah! I'm in the living room, I'm home alone the whole day. And I finished my meal, it's now 8.15 and I kind of want something sweet. So, I'm gonna have a Snickers bar. But this one is a protein Snickers bar. More protein, 30% less sugar. I've got all these bars from someone from England. Elkie to be exact, in one of my care package. And I just gotta thank her for all these protein bars because these come really in hand. The macros are not that great. This protein bar weighs only 47 grams. Grams. Open it and here it is. It doesn't look like your normal Snickers bar. Kind of looks like his ugly younger sibling. Like I am to my brother. Well, nothing to it. Let's try it out. Mmm. Whoa. It is ugly. But it's damn tasty. Kinda looks plain and it doesn't taste just like a Snicker. This has like less peanut taste to it and like no caramel. But it has small chunks of peanuts. 
and a little bit of caramel. So we had a macros and calories with this bar. So we review on this, I would give it a seven and a half out of a 10. Looks boring, I've had better bars, but I love the peanut taste. I'm still in the living room and guys, I wanted to post the bar, the Snickers bar on my Instagram story, which I always do, so follow me on Instagram. And I just realized that this bar has only 11 grams of protein. And I thought this bar had 23 grams of protein, but that is per 100 grams. So I'm not sure if I will give it again a seven and a half. I will give it a six out of a 10. I really thought this had 20 grams of protein. So yes, it is less in sugar. The taste is kind of similar to a Snickers, but the Snickers is much, much better. If this had 20 grams of protein, I would pick this over a Snickers. But now realizing that only 11 grams of protein, not sure if it's worth it. So I'm gonna give it a 6 out of it then. It is good, but the macros just suck ass. Sorry to say it. Oh. Almost broke my camera. In the kitchen again, and I'm the whole day in the kitchen. It's 9 o'clock at night, I'm gonna finish this day with a delicious bowl. My kind of bowl. A healthy junk bowl. This is something I have almost every single night during this cup. And I'm gonna show you how I make my bowl. So I already have had some last night of this, so I'm gonna have the remaining of this quark which is 282 grams I'm gonna add some sweetener my all-time favorite sweetener is this one toffee flavor I'm gonna add a couple drops I like it really sweet mix or swirl this and add the remaining of this package of blueberries which is 70 grams I will add some strawberries just gonna slice it in small squares oh shit forgot to turn on the scale damn it but it's all good. I wanna have 100 grams. So here we go. This will do 80 grams. I will calculate 100 grams. And then I just mix this together. Look at this healthy bowl of goodness. I noticed that I really needed some fiber. And I'm gonna have this gingerbread. So per gingerbread, it is five and a half grams of fiber. So I'm gonna have two slices. It's just crumble it up. And again, just mix it in. This small piece, I like to crumble on top. All right, I just cleaned everything up and I didn't film it, but I added 10 grams, right here, 10 grams of peanut butter. 10 grams of peanut butter. And instead of eating it with a big spoon, no, 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 right there, you grab a small one. Like this video if you eat with a small spoon. I certainly do. And this is how I'm ending my full day of eating my weekend with a delicious bowl of healthy junk bowl and yes guys i think it is a proven fact that eating not with a big spoon with a small spoon helps during your diet at least i know from experience it helps because eating with a smaller spoon you can enjoy it more than eating with a big spoon so yeah, here are the calories and macros for this healthy junk bowl. I will be honest, I really don't like to eat this this late at night. It is 9.15 at night, <clears throat> especially the day after or during the night because I feel just so bloated and so full after eating this meal, especially when adding peanut butter to it because quark on its own is already slow digesting and adding peanut butter or fat will even increase the time of digesting this kind of food. So I do prefer eating something else, mm, but this to me, it's just so enjoyable. It just feels like I'm eating ice cream, especially when I add toppings like the gingerbread or fruit. I'm not the biggest fruit and dessert guy, but now that I'm dieting, I appreciate every single bite. And that's why I eat with a small spoon. It's just so much more enjoyable. So I'm just thinking this is ice cream, closing my eyes. Mmm, Ben and Jerry's. Mmm. Mmm, Halo Top. No, no, no. Mmm, Hagen does better. Mmm, no joke. This is so enjoyable. At this point, it is not as crazy, but you will see in a month from now when I'm really low on a calorie, I will crave a lot of food. 
I've been eating 2700 calories four weeks straight. No cheats needed because I didn't crave really foods. But since today, I dropped my calories and I will notice it next week. So yeah, here are the total calories and macros for the whole day. And I added the peanut butter because I would hit the protein. I would hit the calories and macros exactly. 2500 calories, ending it with a good note. Mmm. My dessert. Guys, if you enjoyed this full day of eating, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you like to see my journey to get lean, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe on my YouTube channel. If you appreciate these tips, just subscribe. If you want to see these things on a daily, follow me on Instagram because I post all my food almost every single day so you can see what I eat and just see my progress. It's a dark boonies right there. And if you want to be the first on these videos, turn on your notification bell right there and you will be notified when my videos are. And that is the end of the video. And guys, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.